Um, you want to go to Amsterdam? Let's go. The airport I booked it out of is like in the middle of nowhere. So we need to leave at four in the morning. Yeah, that's pretty much how today started. Matt, do you want to go to Amsterdam? I've never been to mainland Europe before, and since I am in London for the third time, I figured this was the perfect opportunity to finally hop across and check out what Europe has to hold. I have always wanted to go. It looks absolutely beautiful. The architecture, the history, the people, the culture, just a different way of living, something that I have not experienced and something that I really want to experience. As you guys know, I love to travel and seeing different cultures, different people, different ways of life, different styles, different fashions, different buildings, different music, different art, different everything is something that I really enjoy doing. So we took a 4 a.m. Uber to London Luton Airport. We took a 7 a.m. flight to Amsterdam. We had no idea what we were going to do when we landed, but we knew we were going to do something. Of course the day we decide to come to Amsterdam is the day that it is hailing and raining outside. It's legit hailing outside. Did we bring an umbrella? No. Did we bring, well I mean this is sort of a rain jacket. You didn't bring a rain jacket. No rain jacket and fly net shoes. This is what happens when two 21 year olds travel somewhere. They don't check the weather, they do not dress properly. Your mom's going to be really disappointed in you Matt. Yeah, she's used to it. Oh Matthew. Oh. This is terrible. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm going back to London. This is terrible. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going back to London. I prefer their weather. This is decidedly gross and cold. Also wet. It's still raining. It's still cold, but we made it into Dam Square, Dum Square, Dam, Dum. Amsterdam, dumb. What's the square called? This is Dumb Square. Dumb Square. World renowned square. What's, the, what's so dumb about it? Come on now, come on now. This is Izzy. We just met him. He's our new friend yes. in Amsterdam. I put out a message on Instagram asking for some people to show me around Amsterdam because I've never been to Amsterdam before and he was kind enough to give us a little tour of the city. What are we going to be seeing today, man? A lot of stuff, you know, red light district, of course. Going to, going to the Rembrandt Square, going to some hyped up shops, you know, like Oquium, Pata, Daily Paper. You know, just uh, some stuff that you would normally see. So I've never been to Europe before, and Europe is sort of touted as being an incredibly expensive place to travel and live, especially like big marquee destination cities like this. So I wanted to pose a little bit of a challenge. All I brought with me was 100 euros. Uh, the conversion rate is close enough so I could call it $100. And we're gonna be seeing how far 100 euros can take me in Amsterdam. Hopefully we can make it the entire day. If we're lucky, maybe we even can make it the entire day tomorrow on 100 euros. I like seeing how far I can stretch my money in new places. And also, when I say $100 in Amsterdam, your mind goes all sorts of places. So, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good title. So if, if you have never been to Amsterdam before, the first thing you're going to immediately realize is the architecture is stunning. The churches, the statues are absolutely amazing. The city is absolutely amazing. It's something I have never seen before. It's something I've never heard before. Also, the language in the Netherlands is amazing and Izzy actually tried to teach me some Dutch. <clears throat> but I don't know, it's, Dutch language makes no sense. Like, my father has been living in this country for 40 years and he can't even speak Dutch just normally. It's this sounds like a complicated language. How do you call someone an idiot in Dutch? Idiot. Idiot. Yeah. That's an easy one. How do you say a girl's hot in Dutch? You should say jij. Jij. Bent. Bent. Een. Een. Lekker. Lekker. Ding. Jij bent een lekker ding. <laughs> Look at all the bikes. Dude, I know Amsterdam's like bike capital of the world. This is a lot of bikes. This isn't even anything you're saying? This is nothing. You need to go to Central Station. I guarantee at least like 2,000, 3,000 bikes. Izzy, I have one for you. Okay? Yeah. yeah. How do you say I clickbait all my videos in Dutch? <laughs> ik clickbait all mijn videos. Well, that just sounds like English. Besides bikes, Amsterdam is of course known for weed, I don't smoke, 
beer, I don't drink. Canals too. Uh, I don't swim. I really don't know why I came to Amsterdam. Izzy, how do you say canal in Dutch again? Krach. 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 Is, is that right? Yeah, it's G-R-A-C-H. G-R-A-C-H. Krach. Krach. Dutch is not a very attractive sounding language. <laughs> Opium obviously has like stuff for sale, but then they also have a whole bunch of OG shoes sitting here, Space Jams, breads. These breads are so sun washed from sitting in the window that the outsole is almost white. And then my favorite, ooh, the Mocha 3s. These are freaking insane. I love these. Hopefully they re-release them soon. And also the white cement force. Ooh. These are the girls ones, right? Yep. I would wear these. I would definitely wear these. The aesthetic of this shop is actually like really, really nice. It's sort of a chill vibe. Feels like almost a nightclub in sneaker form, if that makes any sense. Just the setup and the way you have neon lights and the wall flashing there. Picking up the white on whites. You know what you call those low ups, right? Low ups? They're called low ups. Oh yeah? Yeah, big ups. So that was Opium, the sneaker store. Izzy. Yep. You guys actually have some pretty cool sneaker stores in Amsterdam. Yeah, we have. As you guys know, Amsterdam is a very colorful city and it's sort of ironic that the weirdest thing we've seen today comes in purely black and white. Look at this. Look at this. This is in the Comme des Garçons store. They're terrifying baby statues. <laughs> what is that? That is out of a Stephen King horror. What? What is that? There's just like three eight foot tall babies in there being like, Wah! that's weird. This city is just interesting. I don't. I don't want to say weird, but I'm gonna say weird. It's weird. It's weird. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in this city? People around here. It's pretty normal to do drugs on the street here. Okay. I've seen a lot of times. And normally it doesn't get me, but this one time there was a guy like actually having sort of like a seizure on middle of the street. Oh, this just got like really deep and uh, I think you're gonna yeah. tell me about a crazy naked person but or something. What's up, Seagull? What's up? What's up? Bye. Apparently, Dunkin' Donuts is like a brand new thing in Amsterdam. And at, you know, in the States, it's just regular donuts. I was walking past, I was like, what the heck is this? I may have just spent eight euros on, on donuts, but these are amazing. Look at this. Woo! This is Dunkin' Donuts donuts. Cookie Monster, some random little chocolate dude climbing out of a chimney. The Amsterdam flag, why does Amsterdam have a flag? It's just a city. And then like a heart and a, a pink, Izzy chose the pink swirl. I don't think it's that cool. Which one do you guys want? Come on. I'll take uh, the chocolate boy. No, that is, uh, that's black pea. What's black pea? That's Santa Claus's. Yeah. Oh, it's Santa Claus's little slave boy. <laughs> nice! I sort of wanted the chocolate guy. It's not racist. <laughs> I guess I'll go with Cookie Monster. Mm. Good donut. But I just realized the irony of having Cookie Monster on a freaking donut. Come on. I didn't even think of that until I finished eating them. Was there any cookies on the donut? There's no, There's donut. no cookies on the donut, no. My teeth are gonna be blue now. Day was 
uh, Daily Paper. I've never heard of this, but Izzy brought us over here. It's like a really cool clothing store. I'd say it's sort of like uh, maybe off-white, except not ridiculously priced. Actually, that's a really good comparison. It's like off-white, except not ridiculously priced. Alright, so what I actually ended up picking up from the store Daily Paper is this like weird hoodie. The the top isn't the same as most regular hoodies. It's hard to explain. You'll see me wearing it, but it's folded up so nicely in this bag right now that I really don't want to take it out because I need to fit it into my backpack somehow tomorrow. So yeah, here's the graphic. It's like this split thing. It looks like sort of like oil uh, and water mixed together. And then it says Daily Paper right there. It was 85 euro, so it, I mean it wasn't cheap. But it wasn't ridiculously expensive. That is what I picked up. That is part of what you can buy for 100 euros or $100 in Amsterdam. That being said, I need to get a good sleep. I am exhausted. I am so exhausted. I haven't slept eight hours. Oh, shut up, Marilyn Monroe. You guys have a good night.